Hey guys, so I'm back here at the soccer field. It rained finally. What a wonderful feeling to have some wet ground again and knowing you're not going to destroy the grass as soon as you put a shovel or a tool in the ground. Anyway, um, I'm going to find some interesting things. I think in this section, the front section of the uh, of the, uh, the soccer field, and uh, the only reason we're on the soccer field this year is because nobody's using it. So. Um, it was easy to get on. Anyway, all right, well, wish me luck. I got a nice old penny here. All right, yeah. So, got my first find tonight that's good. I got a wheat scent. Let's see what year it is. Just pulled it out of the dirt. All right, so right here. Oh, not too old. I think I saw it. 1951D. That's pretty cool. Alright, right on. Let's keep finding some old things. Well, it finally rained. <laughs> it's been about two or three weeks of uh, really dry drought. And uh, anyways, over at the soccer field and I got this button. It looks pretty cool. There it is. The neat thing is, somebody took a tack and drew a tack through it. Very cool. Alright, well, we get it home, clean it up. Still got some gold gilting on it. That's pretty cool. Alright, right on. Alright, guys, just got another penny that's kind of interesting. Take a look here. So that's uh, Queen Elizabeth, so nothing special about that. But uh, flip it over, and you got a dove. And that's a 1967 Centennial Quarter, or uh, Centennial Penny, I should say. Um, yeah. Anyway, kind of a special penny. They chose the, the Dove because uh, one of the qualities in Canada is the peace that we have here, thankfully. And uh, hopefully that continues. Well, almost gave up on this hole. It's, uh, in here there was a uh, bottle cap found it first, put it, um, then discovered there's more to it, and thankfully there is a nice nickel. 1965, not entirely old, but uh, definitely pretty good find. I'm getting a lot from the 60s era, or 50s, 60s era. That's kind of cool. Let's see if we can find more. There's a dad just explaining uh, what a metal detectorist does. <laughs> anyway, um, I just got myself a loony, a one dollar coin, yay. It was sitting right there, about an inch and a half down. I thought too deep to, I might as well dig a plug. So, very good. Glad to get a, a dollar, a dollar an hour. Let's keep at it. All right, this guy here, he was pretty deep. Bring it up beautifully, uh, big sound, 95, 96. He was way down in there. And uh, there he is. That's a, so it's a lion and it's a padlock. Look at that. Really neat shape. Don't think that's going to turn, but looks like it was broken, twisted. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Really old padlock. Probably from the 50s or 60s. Again, <laughs> that's what I seem to be getting today, and uh, we're close enough to a high school that they might have used this on a locker back in the 50s or 60s. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, guys, take a look at that. That's kind of weird. It's heavy. It's, it looks like a dial. It says Blisto on it. It's got kind of a screwy looking end on here. I suppose that's hollow. Yeah, it would have come off of an end of a, a dial. Anyway, Blisto I've never heard of. <laughs> Any ideas? Well, what did I get? Is it a ring? Or is it a watch? <laughs> Very good. Isn't that cool? TMX, it says at the top. It's got a little watch type band. That's pretty neat. Back when watches were popular, not so popular anymore. 
wonder what it says on the back. I'm going to have to clean that up. Take a look at it. A lot of writing on there. Oh, it is Timex. Huh. Right on. This is a good watch. <laughs> Take a look at it. It's actually not in bad shape. It says Timex. This uh, um, bezel here was chromed, so it's all washing away or wearing away. Takes a licking, keeps on ticking. <laughs> right on. Alright guys, this is not all one hole. I just thought I'd start with this. Um, I have a broken set of keys. Look at that. They're broken. That, and that. that looks like a GM set and then a Chrysler key. And then uh, a nickel. That one is funny. It was ringing up um, occasionally a high number, but mostly a lower, the lower numbers. So a very scattered signal, and uh, but it sounded better, like than the VDIs were saying. So I thought I'm gonna dig it. So I got that, and um, quarter was ringing up 91. And oh no, this guy was ringing up 91. This one was ringing up a little scattered too. Um, take a look at that. It must have got hit by a lawnmower too. And the middle part's nearly um, broken out. Should be able to straighten that up with a vise. Alright, well, on to the next. Let's see what we can get. Alright, just got myself one of those rusty corridors. Take a look. Looks good on this side. Flip it over. It's got a rest spot right down the middle. Anyway, um, I at first thought I didn't have anything good because this came out first, a little butterfly nut or whatever you like to call it. And uh, then these two little wires came out. And then I was still getting the signal. I was almost thinking it's going to be more wire. <laughs> I know it was a quarter. Right on. Anyway, the signal on the whole when I was scanning the VDI numbers were um, bouncy. Uh, there were some four or fives coming out. And then every once in a while a 70 would come out, something like that. Anyway made me think uh, modern quarter and lo and behold it was but it was also covered around with all that trash all right well sometimes you gotta really look through the the bad things to get the good all right right on catch you later well that's a loony i don't know what's up with my machine today maybe i need to charge it or something i don't know um i got it in uh, park one mode which is the real deep mode and um I know sometimes my machine's done this where it feels like it's just slicing. Um, the sound's not a real solid sound. This is more like a slicey sound. I don't know if that's the best way to describe it. <laughs> anyway, that's what I was getting here. It's only about three or four inches down. A little slice. And um, it's a, it was a 91-92 signal. So this is one of those uh, uh, nickel, brass-plated nickel or whatever you call that. Yeah, 1987 Looney, one of the good ones that were really supposed to pop out uh, when you're swinging over them. Anyway, glad I get it, but uh, I'm wondering about my questionable signals today. <clears throat> Alright guys, I have one of those signals like that, uh, one I've had before, where it's just slicing the sound. And uh, here, listen to this. Now, that was like the other one that I just dug, the last loony. So I'm thinking this might be a good coin. Alright, well we'll dig that and see what we get. Alright, see if it's in the hole with the plug. Yeah, in the plug. And that sounds better now. Sounds like a penny. I wonder if it is. Right. Let's find it. Yeah, there it is, a penny. Pennies tend to uh, come out so strong usually, but there it is. Funny. Anyway, thought I'd show you one of the the live digs to show you what's been happening today. I don't know if it's because of the um, now that there's moisture back in the ground after being dry for so long, the signals are kind of funny. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, well, stomp her in.
You're good. All right, well, these did all come from the same hole. How about that for a spill? A quarter from the 80s, a dime from the 80s. I think it's 81, 84. Um, a butterfly nut and a bottle cap. <laughs> now that made for some interesting sounds. All right, well, let's keep going. All right, guys, check that out. There's a penny spill. It's about six inches deep. And uh, the first group came out was uh, that group. I think there's three of them, those three together. Yeah, see how shiny that is inside? 1966. That's pretty good. Especially that shiny. It came off there. And then these two are stuck together. I don't think I'm going to... Well, I have to let them dry out. 1960 something there. That's cool. They have a green. This one came out next. It's coppery. Yeah. yeah I'm not going to clean that anymore. Let it dry out. Yeah, that one's got a modern queen. Alright. There's another one. Oops. They're all just so coppered. What do you call that? Corroded? Tarnished? Not sure. Alright, well, I can't even see what that's going to be. And then there's another one. Alright, well I'll have to clean them all up at home. Hopefully I get something older than 66. Um, but that's kind of neat. They're all copper pennies. A bunch of them. Was there two, three, four, five, six, seven? Awesome. All right, just got another set of keys. This one says something. If you look close, it says Dale or Dave, something like that. Br doctor? I don't know. Anyway, somebody's house keys. Maybe that's the same guy who lost his car keys. <laughs> Could be. I wonder. Anyway, it's a beautiful night. I'm just about done heading back to the car. Maybe I'll catch something good on the way back. If I don't, catch you on the next hunt. Well, hi guys. Good morning. It's a little bright out already and warm. Anyway, you can probably see windmills in the background over there. And they're uh, not even moving. It's so calm out. Anyway, I thought I'd come out and do a little bit of hunting in the dew. And... Uh, well, I have, all I've found so far is bottle caps. I hate those things. <laughs> Anyways, here's something cool though. All right, what do we got? We got that earring with a big hoopy bangle on it. But this here earring part looks very bright and shiny. It could be silver. I wouldn't know yet until we find a mark or something, test it out. Anyway, uh, it looks like it's broken right there. may not be, but we'll see. Anyhow, that's pretty cool. I'm glad to get a piece of jewelry. Alright guys, take a look. I haven't really pulled it out of the ground yet, but what do you think? Lucky horseshoe. Right on. That's pretty old. Awesome. Not a huge horse. So it would have been one probably meant for travel. That's cool. That's a nice horseshoe. That's the third horseshoe I found. found two at another site that was an old farm. And uh, that's the first one I found inside town here. Of course, when this shoe was lost, it probably wasn't inside town. It was probably a farm, farm field here. Very cool. Right on. Oh, um, the signal. Uh, was a 4, 5, kind of that iron signal, and jumped up a little bit into 11 and 12. And uh, anyway, it was different from what I was getting, so I thought I'd dig it. And I got uh, a lucky horseshoe. Alright, well, maybe the luck is changing.